going on guys George here and welcome to another garage edition actually at night time um, I had to wait all day to make this video um, one of the most questions I've been getting is about my headlights I think it's really what people love the headlight pods um, they want to know how they look at night um, and wired up well the wired up actually by a connector now if you watch some, uh, one of the videos I show you exactly how to wire it up um, you order a connector now if you drive a different vehicle you might be able to check the harnesses and see if they match or if they have a harness like uh, the one I ordered. Um, so mine bolts in, you know, OEM style you, factory, you know, and I can just unhook them and hook and take these lights out and put factory lights in without doing any like rewiring to the harness or anything because I didn't want to tear them up. I didn't want to cut or anything. So I was I was said I'm gonna make a video of my headlights. So this video is gonna be dedicated to my my lights like the halo lights the rock lights and the actual uh, led pod headlights now everybody's wanting to know if they do good if they're bright and everything so we're gonna go over it a little bit it should be a quick video but should be kind of informative hopefully all right so first thing is we're gonna go about the rock lights now the rock lights actually work off an app it's um let's see the blue app let it load if it will load we'll connect to it now usually you can name it and I'll name it like Colossus or something but uh, I had uh, it unplugged for a while so I think it reset itself so you can actually you know you change the colors by the app there you go red yellow of course i have the purple now I, you can do it like a mixture and everything you actually go here and whatever color you want now i actually did the oops i did the purple i want it kind of like a darker purple connecting okay here we go so and then you can just turn them off turn it back on um you know and like you can get it pretty far away from it um, walking through the parking lot, you should be able to turn them on. I mean, you're not going to be like, you know, two miles down the road and all. I think you got to be in pretty good sight. I can stand inside my house with my truck parked on the other side of my driveway and actually turn them on and off. So that, that tells you it's it's pretty good little distance. Um, they are the X-Bright Rock Lights. I think I paid almost 50 bucks for them. Um, now, this is extended cab. Well, whatever you want to call it. The back door is open now the driver side lights went all the way perfect no no they didn't i'm sorry both sides will not stretch uh, over here so i actually ordered a 10 foot um long cable to plug in instead of splicing them i just wanted to be oem and they fit right and they're waterproof i actually put tape around the connectors that way they're even more waterproof so that's the lights i'm running let's go to the headlights everybody want, likes the headlights and if on the camera they look blurry or something, this camera hates bright lights and hates uh, nighttime. So we're going here. Now I do have the pod lights. Um, the pod lights are just, the, I think they're LED Cree lights. I didn't go for ridges or anything. These was like, I think they were like $30 for two of them. They are the three by three. Now I did order the three by three um, square halos. You just had to take the light apart, put it together. Now I actually had to drill a hole in the bottom here to run the... Uh, the plug-in down because it does have a plug-in here the box is actually up here if you can see it i still have it. I, the box is going to be in my console but i don't have the console built yet so the led pod lights they're pretty good i mean they can change colors um this is for good for like the parking lot pimping i can see you can do like the those and of course you do have the white if i can find the white light so you can run like the white and those are actually pretty bright alone my camera will adjust yes maybe i think i don't know i sorry for my camera just hates nighttime but those lights are actually pretty bright in general as you can see i mean you can probably drive on a dark road but i don't think they work too too good as headlights all right so for what you've been waiting for let's go ahead and turn these off find it oh it's on but duh all right so let's go ahead and turn on my led pod lights now these are 
turned on by the switch. Oh, let's, and also, this truck has the LED. Check that out. Colossus is all lit up. Oh, you can't see the logo. No. Yeah, you can see a little bit. Um, it's got the LED signal lights. Now, when I put these in, they actually made it blink fast. So, if anybody uses these, does it make yours blink flash, uh, fast? Because all the lights are good. But the back's not LED, so I don't know if that's throwing it or not. So, we do have the LEDs in. And... Here are the these lights. They are pretty bright. But I'm gonna actually pull over where it's really dark at so you can uh, see how good they are. Also, I for actually forgot some <laughs> I was forgot about these. Now I ain't even seen these in uh, nighttime yet. They actually look really good. Um, remember we put the uh, the uh, LED strips across? That looks actually really good. Now I do have to fix the third brake light up there. I don't know if it works or not, um, but I am gonna put like LED one up there. That looks really good. And of course our little, our little tie right there makes it look good so you don't see the wires. The headlights, they're really bright, but from like right here, they're actually not that bright. So it ain't like you're lighting up the whole entire sky or beside you. Everybody's like, oh, you want to, uh, you know, mess up the other drivers. No. If you are straight in front of this truck, you're going to hit the light. But if you go to the side, it's not that bright. So, like, if you're driving and you're on the other side, my, if my headlights point at you, yeah, they might be a little bright. I'll love more. But if you're on the, like, passing me or something, it's not going to be that bright because they're almost, like, kind of like spotlights. Where they're shining, that's where they're going to shine. Remember the wattage of these? If you go back to a previous video, you'll actually see. But, like, if you're pointing straight at it, it's really bright. But not like, oh dear God, I think my Super Ram is actually brighter. Um, but from the side, they're not that bright. So that's one thing I liked because I was scared there was going to be these lights that shine everywhere. They're not. They are actually, you know, whatever they're called, I think like spotlights or something. So they're not that bright. But wherever you shine them at, they will shine right there. So they are easy to adjust. Mine, like I said, I'm going to drop mine down a little bit. And actually probably spray them out just a little bit. And so if you do your headlights like this, I suggest not doing like I did, but actually putting your pods and everything in there before you put your lens on, make sure it ain't rain or anything. Take your truck like on the road or whatever, like a two lane or something, and uh, try them like that. That way you can actually adjust them while you're doing it. Well, after you pull over. Now, just because, if you can see my face, just because I said do this, it might not be legal. So I'm not responsible if you get pulled over. But uh, I don't think they're that bright. The only people Julie says something about, oh, they're going to be too bright, or they're like the haters that want them, and I'm going to adjust them down a little bit. But like I said, if you do it, make sure you adjust it before you put your lens on. Like, this is my first time doing it, so I wanted to make sure, you know. I, yeah, I'm just giving you the advice that I've learned. But for being too bright, they're not. I think they'll pass, like, road legal tests. Maybe not here, but... I mean, they're headlights. They're not like blue or anything. Like my Super Ram headlights, well, they're not halos. They kind of shine everywhere. And I, yeah, I'm like that douchebag or something. But these lights, they're pretty good. I like them and they really stand out. That's one of the first things you see on the truck. Um, still, only truck around here to have them. And I guarantee you, if anybody else sees them, because the truck ain't been out really, out, out, more people want them because I always have people ask me about my bumper and stuff, so yeah. But this is the lights. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know it's a little short one for garage edition, but I just wanted to show how bright these lights was, and hopefully you hear me pretty good over the truck. All right, guys, I hope this really helped. Uh, I know it wasn't really too in-depth and too much. Um, really not a lot I could really talk about. Like, the lights are really good. I do recommend them. It's just the camera really didn't show how good they are. Um, this camera hates lights anyways. But I really like the halos. I love the uh, the rock lights. The pond lights are really good. They look really good. It, the only thing is, like I said, I've got to turn mine out a little bit and put it down. Because I pointed mine. Because I was trying to do it on a garage door. But like I said, if I was rebuilding it, and when I do, I'm going to take it. I'm going to have the lens cover off. Go out the road. And then you can adjust them to wherever you need it. That way, when you're doing it, you can see it better. And it suits how it is. Um... But I really like it. They're not that bright. I think that's what everybody's wanting to know about how bright they are and stuff. 
I like them. Like I said, if you adjust them right, they'll do good. I seen what one person said they didn't like theirs. They actually got rid of them and stuff. You know, it's it's all about your preference and stuff, but it does look really good. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you punch that subscribe button. And I've got family here watching me videos. It's kind of awkward. But anyways, guys, this is George, and I am out of here.